friends and welcome back to my channel, The Crowed House. Um, I just did a big Costco haul and I actually only went to Costco, which does not happen very often. Um, so this is like a two weeks worth, I would say, well, maybe a little bit less, but um, we were out of stuff. You can see my Thrive box. I did get a Thrive delivery. <laughs> I should have videoed that, but I didn't. Um, anyway, so, um, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And, um, if you want to see more videos like this and we'll jump into it. So to start out, we got salt. Uh, we do not eat this. This is for laundry and I was running low. So we put this in the laundry. So that's salt. Um, this is body armor light, which I realized is so random because it's winter and I feel like that's more of a summery drink. Um, just ingredients often, uh, takes body armor lights on like their boating trips during the summer. And I've never seen it at Costco and it was such a good price because there's 20 bottles in here and that made each one be like a little bit less than 90 cents, I think. And like to buy them just in the store is like crazy expensive. And I knew that if I didn't buy them now, they'd be gone by next summer. So I grabbed those. Um, another thing I have never purchased was Spindrift. Flavor City um, says that this is the best sparkling water to get because it doesn't have natural flavors. And I checked and he is completely right. No natural flavors in that. So I got that and I thought my husband really enjoys um, sparkling water and some of my kids do. So I thought we'd give that a whirl. Um, bottled water. I don't usually buy these um, because the added minerals really hurt my stomach and I don't love the plastic. But we do put them outside for our delivery guys. And so I got that. Actually, I had just bought another one and so I didn't actually need it. But Finnegan got the hiccups when we were in Costco and he was so uncomfortable. And I was like, Nin, it's okay. I'll just buy a flat of water and then I'll grab one out. <laughs> so see how there's one missing. <laughs> so I gave that to him really quick. So, um, okay. So we've got vinegar here. Vinegar is for laundry. Um, we use apple cider vinegar for cooking and drinking. So this one is for laundry. We got another thing of Primal Kitchen's mayo. They are so funny. Like I do not know what is up with the manufacturing because it used to always be glass. And then it went to plastic, like this is plastic. But then the last time I went to Costco, like three weeks ago, it was glass again. And now today it was plastic. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that, but whatever. Um, this is the Thai Kitchen Organic Coconut Milk. We, um, uh, uh, so we drink the coconut milk. I make smoothies with it, cook with it in curries and things like that. Um, I actually can't have this because it has guar gum in it, but it's a really good price uh, and my kids can have it. Guar gum doesn't seem to bother them. So I use that for their protein drinks, like the pea protein that I also can't have. Um, so this is mostly for anything for my kids that uh, will need coconut milk. I've had a whole bunch of treats, man. Uh, <laughs> Brookside dark chocolate. We used to put these out in glass jars at our tax office in California. And it is such a memory thing. And when they, and then Costco stopped carrying them. And then all of a sudden Costco started carrying them again. And I was like, oh my gosh, they're back. And we all sat around practically crying and having like a walk down memory lane. And so Finnegan saw them. He was the only one who went to Costco with me today. He saw them and he was like, mom, we have to get these again. So I got them. I thought it could be like a fun thing for like Christmas Eve or something. And then I got some Aussie bites uh, because honestly, I haven't been feeling great lately. And sometimes it's good to have like snacks on hand for the kids that, that you know, aren't the best in the world but aren't the worst either. So we got some apple chips. Love those. Um, I got this. I might return it. I don't know. For Finnegan, it's a sweater set thing. It's got two hoodies, two shirt. No, one hoodie, two shirts, and two pairs of pants for $18, uh, which I thought was really awesome. I have a friend who um, shops exclusively at DI for her clothes and for her kids which I think is amazing. And I love the idea of that. I love the idea of reusing. And I actually went to DI the other day and it did not go well. I seriously did not buy a single piece of clothing. It felt so overwhelming. And so I think I'm just not as cool a person as she is. So I might have to just stick to my Costco clothes because it's really cute and it works. And then these socks were on sale. I have to buy the men's because my feeties are so big, but I was glad that the men were on sale because sometimes only the women's one are and we needed new socks. So there we go. This was also on sale and I'm so excited about it. I've never had any of these before, um, but they're so pretty and so I got them. Uh, this is random. I know you guys are all thinking, why the heck would you buy that? No one in your family can eat it. No, <laughs> they can't. I teach a Shakespeare class to 13 year olds and um, we have like little treats for rewards. And I have like healthy lollipops, you know, like that don't have artificial food coloring. I have some that are sweetened with xylitol. I have 
uh, gummy bears. I have different things that are like what I would consider more, well, they're not healthy. They're just not as bad, but they all love these and they just ask for panda cookies. And I'm like, fine, I will just get you what you want. <laughs> so that's not for my family. That's for my class and my students. Okay. So we got some organic apple juice. This is for making apple cider because it's so fun to just put some uh, cloves and some cinnamon sticks and simmer it. It makes the house smell amazing. And then we can all have a cup of apple cider while we watch a Christmas movie. It's the best. Um, okay, so we got celery sticks. I remember the days when we all used to buy celery like all together. And now Costco has made that a thing of the past. I love having these. It's so easy. My kids are really loving um, ants on a log. We use sun butter or the mixed nut almond butter from Costco. Uh, and then we put the organic raisins on it and they love it. I love it too. Love it too so much. I eat too much of it. I, I'm back off of nuts and seeds, so I can't have it right now, but I will drool over my kids having it. Um, the almond flour was really cheap. It was $10. I have a clear memory of it being much more expensive than that. And I thought, oh my gosh, are they going to like discontinue it? Is it going away? I don't know. I felt nervous. So I bought an extra bag, even though I didn't need it because I already have like two more bags and I will store this in the fridge um, because even though it hasn't been opened yet, nuts can go rancid really quickly. And so even though there's no way for me to know how long um, it's been on Costco's shelf without being refrigerated, I put any nuts, nut flowers in my fridge, in my outside fridge as soon as I get home. I don't know what that is. Okay, so we got orange juice. We don't usually do orange juice and when I do, I usually buy the organic from Trader Joe's. Uh, but I knew that I wasn't going to make it. So we got this mostly for like Christmas morning. I was trying to think ahead of a couple things for Christmas time that I could be on top of. Um, and orange juice was one of them. So we got that. And then I got some eggs. Okay, so we've been doing hard boiled eggs and it's so easy because I just smash them up and I add in some of the, um, the Primal Kitchen mayo and a little mustard, and then they eat egg salad with crackers. So it's a super easy lunch. So I got those. Um, this is the kielbasa that we love. It's um, smoked sausage, 100% grass fed and grass finished. Love it, it's so good. Um, I got two butternut squashes and this butternut squash, I have such a love-hate relationship with it. I love uh, that it is cut up because cutting butternut squash is high maintenance. Like it is hard work. But the thing is, is that it goes bad so fast. So we will have to have butternut squash for dinner tomorrow because if I let it go any longer than that, it will go bad. I have learned my lesson multiple times. So we'll have that for dinner tomorrow. Brussels sprouts, um, delicious with bacon or balsamic vinegar, just usually as a side with like salmon or meatloaf or something. Uh, we got persimmons. Persimmons are so love. good. Persimmons, yes. Allegra loves them. She has learned. Yum. She loves them just like I do. Uh, blueberries do not seem like a thing that you should buy in December, but they were there and they were cheap. And Finnegan really wanted them because he loves blueberries. Uh, we got some more of the organic squash. This is really yummy. Either I cut it up and like roast it along with Brussels sprouts, or um, I make this really yummy like sweet potato stew and I put squash in that and that's really yummy. Okay, we got green beans. I haven't been buying these because they also go bad and I thought that I got a good bag, but now they're looking kind of iffy. Um, but my plan was to meal prep with these. I was going to make some meal boxes and this would be the side veggie for, um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna do some uh, Hawaiian pizza chicken and some uh, little mini sliders for some mm, meal boxes for my husband for work. Uh, we got power greens for smoothies and we got the spring mix for salads. This was a total, Finnegan really wanted this. He loves macaroons, loves them so, so, so much. And they only have them around the holidays. And so I said I would get them. The bad thing is that it does have dairy. And so that means that my oldest can't have it, but sometimes he decides to eat dairy. He's old enough to choose how he wants to feel. And my plan was for like Christmas Eve with these, um, or maybe Christmas day. And he can decide if he wants to have the dairy, but they are gluten-free and they do not have artificial food coloring, which is a big problem with most macaroons. Um, asparagus was on sale. I love it because they're tiny and skinny. I don't love the super thick asparagus because I feel like it's hard to get it cooked all the way through before it starts burning. But these huge, it must say how big this is. Two pounds, two pounds, four ounces. And this was $3. So I got two of those. We'll have that probably with salmon this week. This was back. I have not seen this. It has been at least a year. Um, linguine made out of cauliflower. It has eggs. 
And I think something else in it that I can't have. Um, potato starch, yeah. So I can't have it, um, but my kids actually, they really enjoyed it. And so I think the last time I did like a, like a vegan Alfredo sauce over it with some organic chicken on the side, I might do that or maybe make some pesto or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, love these almond flour, uh, tortillas. I do have to say, I am so disappointed that they have redone their recipe and it now has sand and gum. What the heck? It didn't used to. I am so disappointed in CSA. Oh, my kids can handle a little bit of xanthan gum, so I still buy them, but really disappointed by that. I wish that they had stuck with it. It used to be chia seeds, I'm pretty sure. Um, oh, Allegra's sitting right here. <laughs> okay, so we got mushrooms. That's for uh, cooking with ground beef and maybe doing like a sheet pan. I really like that Hello. too. Um, oh, do you want to say hi? Uh, so this is the Teton Waters Ranch 100% grass-fed Polish sausage. We used to eat this all the time. And then when my little Finnegan got old enough to eat it himself, he started having a reaction to it. It makes him gag. It makes him throw up. I do not know what is in these sausages that he is reacting to. I mean, the ingredients are so minimal. I, I honestly can't figure it out. So we no longer eat these as a family, but because I'm meal prepping for my husband and making meal boxes, this is a really great one. So this will probably be um, the meat to go alongside some of the green beans that I'm going to air fry. I did buy an air fryer. I am not convinced on this air fryer, friends. I am not convinced that it's like the greatest thing ever, but I'm going to try the green beans in the air fryer because people tell me that's a really great thing to use your air fryer for. So we got organic bananas, but we got more mushrooms. These are the shiitakes. And those are just the baby Bellas. So we got two kinds of mushrooms. This was a request from my son, Parker, my oldest. He loves these. <laughs> the other day I got them because they were on sale at Costco for like $4 off. The chicken is not organic, um, but it is Amy's. And so it's really, or Amy Lou's. And so it's really clean. And I got it because it was on sale. And I just thought, you know, sometimes you need a meal that's super, super easy. And I had it in my fridge and I had an entire sweet potato casserole left over from Thanksgiving that I had forgotten to put the topping on and bake. And so um, like a few days after Thanksgiving, this is what we had. We had the <laughs> these meatballs and the sweet potato casserole and Parker was in heaven. So when I was meal prepping for this week or meal planning, He's like, oh, do you know what I want? Is the cranberry meatballs again with a sweet potato casserole. So I got a whole bunch of sweet potatoes and I'm gonna make another thing of sweet potato casserole. I can link the recipe that I use. Actually, I don't follow it because I never follow recipes, but this paleo recipe that I found years ago um, is like the inspiration for my version and it is the best stuff ever. So if I get these organic uh, sweet potato bags from Costco. We love them and we go through a lot of those. So I also got mandarins Ooh. because who loves mandarins? Ah. Oh, she loves mandarins. So we got a whole bunch of those. Uh, they were carrying the organic ones for a little while. I'm sad that they're not anymore, but we'll still eat them. We got two things of avocados. Um, they are hard. I don't know what I'm going to do for avocados because we're all out and these are going to take a few days to ripen, but we'll survive until then. So we got this organic uh, roasted turkey breast. This stuff is amazing. The ingredients are so clean. Um, just sea salt and vinegar in addition to the organic turkey breast. And so we do wraps um, in these with the uh, coconut flour wraps that I get from Thrive. They're amazing. I can even have them. They're literally, the ingredients are coconut flour, coconut oil, and coconut butter, I think. It's amazing. And so we do a relic with this with like the a thing of meat and the avocado. And then my kids will put mayonnaise because they could have that. Um, sorry, I did that. We've got rice cauliflower. My kids miss rice. They truly do. I miss rice. But honestly, every time we have it, someone has a reaction. Someone gets red face, someone's stomach hurts, someone wakes up in the middle of the night with growing pains. It's exhausting. And so we don't really do rice anymore except for like special occasions when we go out to eat at a Thai restaurant. So we do this. Uh, and <laughs> my kids love the, um, the video from, oh dear, I forgot. Oh, I'll put it right here when I, cause I can't think of it right now, but the YouTube family that does all these spoofs and they do one about, um, it's not rice <laughs> about, or about rice cauliflower. And my kids think it's hilarious. And they always say that to me. I'll link that below too. So you can watch the video because it's funny. Uh, broccoli. I love this organic frozen broccoli. I used to always buy fresh broccoli 
and it would go bad or it wouldn't taste good. I don't know why I had an issue with buying frozen broccoli, but I love these. They do come in microwavable bags. I don't even have a microwave, so I don't do that, but I just put them on a cookie sheet and I bake them. If I'm doing um, nuts, then my favorite way is to put nutritional yeast, salt, and uh, pecans and then roast it all together. And oh my goodness, it's so delicious. But if I'm not doing that, then I'll usually just do the salt, maybe the nutritional yeast, and then usually balsamic vinegar. And it's so, so, so good. Um, we got these grass-fed beef patties. We buy uh, ground beef from our local farm and we buy like uh, a quarter or an eighth of a cow in ground beef at a time every few months. I could totally defrost some of that meat and shape it into patties, but I am too lazy to do that. So I buy these because it's just, I love being able to turn on the grill and throw some burgers on there. And it's, it's such an easy, nice dinner. And then our last frozen item is organic blueberries. Allegra and Finnegan eat these things like they're candy. It drives me crazy because their faces are blue and their hands are blue and their clothes are blue. But I figure of all the snacks in the world to be eating, this is probably a pretty good one. So they just finished the last bag that I had and so I had to buy another one. And then two paper goods over here, we've got Kleenex. I do not know what my thing is with the Kleenex brand, but there are not many things that I feel obligated to buy store brand, like name brand. Kleenex is one of them. I just, I like Kleenex and it was on sale, so I got it because we were running low. And you know, this time of year, you never know when the whole world's gonna come down with sickness. And then I got, some bath tissue because the Kirkland brand is finally back and I hate that Charmin stuff. And even though I have a little bit left, like we're not desperate yet, I try to get one every time the Kirkland brand is available just because I prefer it so much. So, um, okay, so that's it. That is my Costco haul. Um, this should last us. The only thing that I didn't get at Costco that I do desperately need is eggs. And I usually get eggs at either Sprouts or Trader Joe's, because they both have organic pastured eggs. Um, the meat place that I get my meat from, Utah Natural Meat, also has eggs, but that's way far away. And I bought a whole bunch when I was up there, but we already ran out and I won't be going back till January for more meat. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might have to do like a grocery delivery or maybe we'll just have to stop by on our way home from, uh, from our co-op tomorrow or something. I'm not sure. We'll have to get some eggs somehow because I don't buy the organic ones from Costco anymore because they got a grade of like F. It's not good. The chickens aren't treated well. It's not good. They're not good quality eggs. So I will have to figure that out, but this is it otherwise. And I think this just gets us pretty much close to Christmas. And then I'll have to do like a little shopping spree to be completely ready for Christmas dinner and Christmas day. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Again, if you enjoy these kinds of videos, I love watching other people's grocery hauls and I love sharing them with you. So if you want to be uh, notified every time I post one, please um, click the notification and the subscribe button. And thanks for watching.